please. Oh, leave him alone. He's having a good time. I remember the days when children were seen and not heard. Oh. <laughs> Turn the volume down. Jake, be careful. <gasps> oh! 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 I'm so sorry. That's it. No, look, it's just the orange juice, uh, right? He just sends no, it. No, he has got to go. He's going to be good now, I promise, aren't you? Either he goes or you do. Oi, you being naughty, eh? She is. I'll take him home. Yeah, but you've just said that you were going yes, to... Yes, I know. We'll just go another time. Do you want to come home and watch a film with me and Auntie Layla? Yeah. All right, then. Well, I'm going to go on ahead and see my dad. Uh, no, film first, and then you can pop into the B&B after. Oh, thank you so much, both of you, right? It's all right. See you later. Yeah, bye-bye. Good night, love. OK, I, I am really, really sorry about that. Consider that your final warning. Got my keys. You know, if you if you didn't want to go out with me, why didn't you just say? It's not you. All right, it's just the whole situation. I actually thought we got on quite well. We did, and we do. So what's the problem? Mia, I am getting it from all angles here. From you, your dad, my mum and dad, and to be honest, it's doing my head in. I just want an easy life. Okay, so why can't we just ignore them? You say that now. But what? What if my mum and dad really do lose the farm? Then what? I can't just keep going out with you like nothing's happened. Do you know, I think my dad was right. You do like me, just not quite enough. We wouldn't give a toss about any of it. I just need some time to think. No, don't bother. You've said everything there is to say. Sorry, we didn't mean to interrupt. No, Adam was just going. Don't rush off on our account. Um, we're just going out for something to eat if you want to join us. No, you're all right. Need to get back anyway. Adam. Thanks for coming in today. I know you're in a difficult position. Just want to do my job. Well, like I said, there's going to be plenty of work on the estate. And you want me to go and tell my dad that, do you? Might be worth mentioning it to him. Look, if the only reason you've employed me is to work on my dad for no, you... No, no, then... you're here to do a job, that's it. Good. Oh, and just to make things clear, anything that goes on between you and him, keep me out of it. Fair enough. Scratch on that car, I'll nearly kill you. Try it, you nutter. Just watch where you're going next time, you dozy man. Eh, uh, hang on a minute, where do you think you're going? You can't just leave us here. What do you want me to do about it? Well, the least you could do is take us home. <sighs> Go on, get in the car. I'm gonna swing for that girl. When was her shift meant to start? Two hours ago? You see, that's teenagers for you. You give them an inch and they take a mile. Put a it'll... sock in it, Dr. Spock. You don't know anything about rearing kids. Just ask him. Hey, Ben. Have you seen Amy in your travels? Uh, yeah, that's why I popped in. She went off in a bit of a strop earlier. Wondered if she was all right. When earlier? A couple of hours ago. She was in the pub with me and Lola. In the pub? Yeah. Well, where the hell is she now? So where have you been? Out. And you're home? It's no big deal. A young girl like you should be wandering the streets on her own. I can handle myself. <laughs> Is that right? So, do you make a habit of picking up strange girls in the street? Do you make a habit of going with strange men? Depends how good looking they are. You're going to get yourself in trouble, you know that. Hopefully. Play me cards, right? So where do you want dropping off? In the village? That's up to you. It's only early. 
Well, I've got to drop this car off. Funny time to be delivering cars. Unless you don't want to be seen, of course, in which case it's a great time. I used to be seen about that soldier in us when I was younger. And how old are you now? Nineteen. Old enough. That phone's still switched off. What a shock. You don't think she's gone into town? She mentioned it. S sort of. I did tell her to come straight home. What you should have done is grabbed her by the scruff of the neck and dragged her back here. You know, I'm getting a little sick and tired of Miss Wyatt giving us a continued run around. Oh, come on, Dad. Don't have a go at her. She's just a teenager. That's what's worrying us. She's using this place like a hotel. It is a hotel. Where is the respect? Oh, look, I know you think she doesn't care, but she does. All she cares about is where our next tube of mascara is coming from. No, you should have seen her the other day over the petty cash. What petty cash? What? What petty cash? Oh, it was 25 quid down. She reckons somebody nicked it. Did you know about this? No. I don't think she did it. She, she, she was dead upset. She really didn't want to let you down. I haven't got her into trouble, have I? Don't you worry about Amy. I'll sort it out when she gets home. Don't tell her I told you. No. Night, night, David. Oh. I'll kill her. You don't think she's just... Come on, Eric. Wake up and smell the perfume she's bought with our cash. He walked in on her with her hand in the till. He does right, you know. Declan wants to make things difficult for you, he can. Let's just hope he doesn't, then. Mm. Well, that's enough small print for one day. Mind if I jump in the shower? Yeah, of course, go ahead. Why don't you go upstairs too and get some sleep? You're on your feet all day. Mum, we'll be all right, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. Just Dad's worked so hard. Holly, there's no way your dad's going to let anyone take this place off us. I know that for sure. OK? Go on. Night, Mum. Night, darling. Love you. Love you. Ah, the wonder of returns. Declan want me to work late. Then I fancied a quick drink. Tough day. <sighs> this way. Why not bother going back? Oh, that tough. Just thought I'd do my head in, Mum. Including me? The thing that really gets me is she knew exactly what was going on and didn't say a word. Have you two fallen out? Yeah, kind of. Adam, you know I just want you to be happy, don't you? And so does your dad. You're young, you should be going out enjoying yourself and earning a bit of cash. Yeah, maybe you're right. If my dad doesn't like it, that's his problem. Stop. Well, aren't you going to get out? Is that what you want? Something tells me I shouldn't tell you what I want. Why don't you show me instead? Don't start something you can't finish. Who says I can't? <laughs> <laughs> 